I'm sure that uh, many of you have heard the story about um, this teacher in a classroom back in the days when um, children were actually at desks in classrooms and teachers were in front of the, the classroom teaching. Uh, she gave a, an exercise to the children to draw a picture of someone or something that you would like to meet. And so the kids all went to work, and so the teacher was walking down the rows of the, uh, of the classroom and uh, looking at, you know, one uh, child had a picture of a, a fireman, another had you know, an astronaut, another one had a picture of a dog that he wanted, uh, another one of his baby brother or sister that uh, was coming. Um, and then uh, one child in the back of the room was drawing just really, really intently on her project. And the teacher was look, looking at it, couldn't quite tell what it was. And so, so she said, you know, why don't you describe your picture to me? And uh, the, the student, without even looking up at the teacher, said, I'm drawing God. And uh, the teacher said, oh, that'll be, that's interesting. No one knows what God looks like. And the student said, that's because I'm not finished yet. <laughs> now, that sounds funny, but if you think about it, the life of a person of faith is all about uncovering the picture of God, who God is. All the experiences of our lives, good and bad, uh, all of them kind of fill in the lines of who God is for us and with us. Uh, and so, so we're all sort of drawing this picture of God. And we're looking at God from different vantage points, depending on the experiences that we have. Um, and today's readings uh, uh, describe a virtue that helps us to understand and see uh, who God is and how God is working in our life. Now, it focuses on one particular virtue, the virtue of wisdom. Now, the thing is that virtues never exist by themselves. Uh, you don't have a wise person who, who doesn't also have a lot of other virtues. And so as, as Catholics, and I know as a bishop, um, especially during the uh, Easter season, I go around to parishes uh, 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 giving the, the sacrament of confirmation to, uh, to young people and older people. Um, and in the sacrament of confirmation, we pray that those who receive the sacrament receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. One of those gifts being wisdom. There are seven gifts, and I, I'm sure that you all know them, right? Yeah, you all know. Okay, I want everybody to take out a piece of paper, put your name at the top, and write. <laughs> you know, the people in the back are they're saying they didn't say there'd be a pop quiz in this. Uh, okay, so the the the, the uh, gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, understanding, knowledge. Counsel, fortitude, piety, fear of the Lord. Okay, so it's good. If, if a bishop knows the seven sacraments, you can know it too. Uh, so these, these seven um, gifts of the Holy Spirit uh, that, uh, that we receive and rely on, that's the Holy Spirit telling me to be shorter. So I'll speak from here. <laughs> No. Uh, so these gifts of the Holy Spirit. Uh, and I think the first three we can talk about because they really go together. Knowledge, understanding, wisdom. Knowledge, understanding, wisdom. Uh, knowledge is a gift where you, you know what something is. It, it answers the question, what? Knowledge. Okay, so what is that? It's a chair. Okay, I know that that's a chair. Understanding is, is knowing why we have a chair. You have a chair so that you can sit down. So we know what they're for. Now, wisdom is knowing 
and understanding that if I have a group of chairs, I can put them around a table for our family dinner. Or I can take a whole bunch of chairs and put them in a stadium for a football game. Or I can put them socially distant uh, in a covered patio for mass. So that virtue, those uh, virtues, those gifts, allow us to understand the world around us. And in understanding, coming to understand the world around us, we're able to paint or draw the picture of God because God is uh, expressing himself to us through everything that we see, everything that we hear, every relationship that we bear, every work with which we are entrusted, everything that comes around us. We can know, understand, and through that gift of wisdom, come to see the very face of God. In the good things that we experience and in the bad things. Now some would say that this past year has been just nothing but bad things. But as people of faith, as people of hope, and as people of love, we are called to see God present in and through even our difficult times. And in some ways, I think these difficult times um, are both a greater challenge and um, also a greater grace, allowing us to see through uh, our difficulties to the needs of others, to pray for those who are less fortunate than we, to ask God's help on those who are uh, working to develop an uh, uh, antidote, a vaccine to uh, COVID, those who are working uh, in uh, our society to end the ills that we experience, those that come from poverty, those that come from racism um, and discrimination, all these issues. As people of faith, people of hope, people of love, we use those gifts that are guaranteed to us by the Holy Spirit to see God's presence in the good and the, and the difficulties and to share that faith, hope, and love with those whom we meet. May God grant us and the Holy Spirit bestow on us in abundance the gifts of knowledge, understanding, wisdom, right counsel, fortitude, piety, and fear of the Lord. We stand.